Um, here's a question. My Google ads used to produce predictable leads and I made lots of revenue, but it doesn't seem to work anymore. Have they changed the algorithm? You know, Google AdWords, well, the answer is yes. Google AdWords always change the algorithm. Um, in fact, from what I understand, Google change the Google algorithm about six times a day um, with little tweaks and then major ones, obviously not as often. The thing about Google AdWords, it, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. It depends how far back we're going here. If we're going back one year where they used to work, that doesn't surprise me. Everything has got a lot harder uh, in this space in the last 12 months. Um, but, but I guess it's a mathematical equation, right? Here's the, here's the first places I look to. Am I able to draw on this? Is that gonna work today? Okay, good. Well, the first place I look for with Google Ads, when I log into my account or our client's accounts to have a bit of a look around, the first thing I look for is the average position. Okay, now I think that they've just moved this into Auction Insights, if you want to know where to find it, inside reporting. So Auction Insights. Basically, as you know, when you run, uh, we do a Google search, there are four ads above, and then there's organic that runs below there and goes on forever. These four ads are ranked according to silent auction, basically. So what happens is everyone goes in there and they, they, they set their CPC, their cost per click, and they say, how much am I pre prepared to bid for a click? And you put a price. Now, you don't know what everybody else um, is, is bidding. However, Google actually have a bit of a planner tool that tells you, it gives you a guide. It's not hugely accurate. And then obviously, as Google knows everybody's bid price, it then ranks everybody. Well, you're prepared to pay the highest, so you'll go number one. You're prepared to pay the second highest, you'll go number two. When I hear people say AdWords used to work and then it doesn't, typically what happens is they were number one ad, but over time, everybody starts outbidding them and their ad goes you know, down, 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 down. They become the fourth ad, for example, which means you know, that, that you're getting a million impressions but hardly any clicks because that's what happens the further you get down the page. The number one ad on Google by far, regardless of what anybody says, is, um, is position number one. That is the answer. All right, you looking at what I'm looking at? Yes, it, it, the light's not on my laptop to say it's charging, but it's charging. So, um, so that's, the way I, that's the first place I would look to because you may have been number one and it was working and then everybody else has outbid you, so now you're down the page, okay? That's one thing to look at. Something else to look at would be, you know, is, has your website, so you might be getting clicks to your website, which means you know, you're, you're, you're paying Google the money, but it's not converting, not getting you any traffic. The first place you go to is the website. Is there a broken link? Are there plugins that aren't working? Are people getting there, trying to fill out a form, and then finding out that you know, it, it doesn't work, spinning wheel of death, whatever. Like, go and fix those issues. Do you know how many times working with clients, they tell me AdWords hasn't worked, and I go in there, and I go to the form, and I do a test, and, and it's broken. Like the, the, auto, the automations on their, on their CRM are not sending the email, so no one was getting any alerts. Customers were still going, filling in a form, no one got any alerts, all right? That, that, that stuff just actually practically happens. And then the third thing is, if you, you know, like if, if, if a six months or a year passes and you haven't updated your website, you could just be the ugliest website in town. It could just be that your website needs updating, and the reason why it's not converting is because the public now expect that a website is good, right? You know, five years ago, no one knew what a good or a bad website was. Now, everybody knows, because we're all looking on a device. If it does not look good on one of these, okay, then you will lose. That's the short answer. So you've got to start creating your website so they look good on devices, so they look good on, you know, iPads, computers, the whole thing. And then, you know, that's how you're going to start to pick up a better thing. So they're, they're the places that I would go to. Um, if I were you, the way, just to bring a loop to this, the way you get back to number one is you take your, your bid price, your cost per click, and you increase it. So if you told Google you were prepared to pay three bucks a click, you might have to go in at 350 or four. If you had already said you were gonna pay 19, you might have to go back in at 22, 23. If your clicks are currently 50 bucks, you might have to go back in at 55 to 60 bucks a click. Whatever yours is, you're gonna go back in and offer another bid, and then you'll be back at number one and you'll push everybody else down, okay? That, they're, they're my quick go-tos when people tell me that Google AdWords used to work, 
and it doesn't any more. Did you know that this show goes onto Facebook, it goes onto YouTube, it goes onto Instagram, it goes onto iTunes, and it goes onto LinkedIn? Do me a favor, would you? Tell more people about the show so that I can spread the message. Love you. See ya.